spot the barbell squat, the barbell deadlift. At the moment, they are out of me. And I can hear people screaming at me saying, hey, Sean, they are fantastic exercise. What the hell are you doing? Again, so much strength gains from barbell squats and deadlifts. Yes, yes, you are. Are they a good exercise? Yes. Uh, you know, if you're doing these exercises and you're doing them in correct form and perfect form on them and you have no issue with your lower back, fantastic. Keep going away. Keep knocking them out. You know, best of luck to you. I just know every time I do them, I feel, eh, I don't feel great putting that pressure on my lower back. I just don't feel right. Yes, I need to work a little bit more on my mobility. Yes, I need to work a little bit more on my mobility, but I just don't feel great doing them. So, so why would I do them? And I just feel like people progress too fast on them. Like as soon as they're able to squat, they're like, right, let's load up a bar and let's see how much I could do. And I just feel that a part of the problem with a lot of people, especially you know in the big box gyms, is to just go straight into barbell squatting very fast. Uh, like I said, just load the bar, away you go. Once you have the squat pattern down, keep going. And you're missing out on so much sh potential strength in terms of getting the exercise right, doing goblet squats, working on your core, working on your technique, working on your brace breathing, the whole lot while doing that. And then if you get all that down and then you advance on the barbell squats, your barbell squats are going to be so much better. Whereas if you're in this position now, with the barbell on your back, you got a heavy load and the margin for error is a lot thinner. And the fact is you're only practicing on that, you're not getting a lot out of the exercise in comparison to building up to it properly. And the risk reward balance starts changing if you're going straight to barbell, in my opinion on that one. To me, it's like it's like watching a TV series. It's like, you know, you know it like 24, Jack Bauer. It, barbell squats is like jumping straight to season three. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah, he's badass, he's doing all these things but you're not getting as much benefit out of it as you watch from season one. So you're watching season three, it's like, you know, why is he the way he is? Why is he on, you know, addicted to the heroin? Who the hell is Nina Myers? Why should I hate this Kim Bauer person? So there's so much going on that, but you still enjoy it because it's, it's just a cool action series of 24 episodes. But had you watched the first season, you, you know all the ins and outs of it. So there's a bigger payoff from, from it, just like the Barbell Squat in terms of there's a weird analogy but i'm going with it anyway let's see how i go with it and uh, with a barbell squat yes you're going to get stronger doing it but had you built up right to it by doing the goblet squats by doing maybe the two cowbell rack squats feeling a lot more in your core and then progressing onto barbell you're at a stronger base a stronger foundation you're going to get more bang for your buck when you get to that barbell instead of going through a learning process to barbell and it could be too challenging and you're increasing that risk of injury so slowly building up to it is going to give you a much much better bigger payoff in my opinion so exercises i would do instead of um barbell squats and deadlifts i didn't really touch too much on deadlifts i think a lot of it is just just making sure you got the, the, the right form now. Once again, some people might do trap bar instead of straight bar. Their mobility is not great. Great, fantastic. No issue with that. I just know personally that I prefer to do single leg stuff. And and here's the whole thing with me, me doing single leg stuff instead of just the, the, the barbell deadlifts and squats. Yes, the goal is to get stronger. But at the same time, I feel there's going to be more transfer. Uh, not more transfer of strength, but it's more applicable to what I want to get out of it which is I want to get be a stronger runner uh, and, and I want to enjoy being in the gym. I don't enjoy barbell squats. I don't enjoy barbell deadlifts unless you are a power lifter and you really enjoy them. I would question why they're there, but if you, if you enjoy them and they're, they're safe, no issue, by all means, bang away, keep at them. I'm just not 100% confident when I do them. I know I've had issues flare up shortly after doing them. Like, was that the barbell squat? Was that the deadlift? And I just like, I don't really want to do them. So I'd, I'd rather do a Bulgarian split squat where I know all the focus is on that quad and glute and I can feel it work a lot more on, on the single leg. And I, I, as I'm knowing myself, push my foot through the floor, drive myself back up again, having two heavier weights by my side or up in a goblet position when I work a bit of core, I could feel that work more for me than I can doing a barbell squat where I'm worried about absolutely everything else, especially my lower back. So there's no reason for me to do them. Doesn't mean you can't build up and do them from you. But the main thing is with all these is find exercise that gets you off the couch and get you start moving again. Uh, a barbell squats and stuff are further down the road, but whatever gets you up moving, even if it's just 10 minutes every day, every second day, and then slowly build them up from there because I honestly do feel the worst thing you can do is absolutely nothing. Now that wasn't a hard video to get through now, was it? 
I hope you guys got some value out of the video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the Coach Scott channel, which is somewhere here. And hit that button, subscribe to the Coach Scott channel, leave a thumbs up. There should be another couple of other videos around here for you guys to check out. And that's all from me, Coach Scott. Take care.